All right, well, not the package I was hoping for, but uh, time to head out and pick up our lawn because uh, we got a valve cover to work on. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We'll go back to another video. In today's video, um, we're picking up our lawn to work on our valve cover job. So, uh, yeah, I need my boy to help me out. He said he's here. He says he wants to help me. I could probably do it on my own, but our lawn's a professional, and uh, he could probably help me get this thing done a whole lot faster, which means the sooner we can get the 135 sold with a peace of mind on my end, knowing that whoever the next owner is is not going to have any issues with the car, the sooner we can get off to our next build, which I'm hoping to get an M build as our next build. I know we need another epic build like the M3 that was on this channel, and I'm super excited for it. So, yeah, let's get this 135 ready, and then let's move on to bigger and better thing because I'm excited. Actually, I forgot to fill you guys in. So I actually picked up our lawn already. Uh, we're about to get some Chipotle to head back to the house. So yeah, it's just day two with Chipotle. It must be done. All right, guys. So we just went ahead and finished eating our Chipotle. Um, I know. Our lawn was like, hey, you want to eat somewhere else? I was like, no, nah, not really. <laughs> so we had a Chipotle again and uh, we're back on the 135. So the 135, we figured out that the whistling issue was coming from the exhaust. We're gonna hopefully get that sorted pretty soon, either today or tomorrow, depending on when we finish this. He says he can get the whole valve cover off in 15 minutes. I severely doubt that. I'm gonna give him two hours, because I'm gonna be generous, uh, you know? <laughs> I, I, I'm also gonna help him, I'm not gonna just let him do his thing. I'm gonna try to help him as well. But at the same time, it's, I, I, he says 15 minutes. I really doubt that. Well, I'll go ahead and show you guys the time real quick, when it starts, when it starts, not yet. I'll give you, I'll give you your fair time. Um, but once he starts, hopefully we get the valve cover off. The valve cover hasn't come in the mail yet. It's coming from FCP Euro, but it says it's on a truck for delivery. So as soon as it gets here, I'm hoping it gets here as soon as he takes that off. But if it gets it off in 15 minutes, I don't know if it's gonna be here in 15 minutes, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just, just remove a valve cover on a 435 and hopefully fix this massive oil leak. Oh, we actually got to show you where the oil leak is. We're just gonna be a little bit fair with this guy. We said the valve cover remove it in 15 minutes. So he's removing the cow filter. He's gonna move the engine cover. Not that that makes any much of a difference. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and just remove these two. Just pretty much get it ready to do the valve cover. All this stuff only takes five minutes anyways, but probably even less, but we're just getting it all out of the way. Um, and then yeah, we'll show you guys the leak. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And that's the reason why it's only leaking within the valve cover, not around. Um, it's like, inter it's like the, the, the actual valve cover is cracked. So I'll show you guys that. But in terms of the rest of the motor, there's no oil leaks from the bottom or the sides or anything, which is perfect. Perfect. Once we do this top mount, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. No leaking here either. I, like this is probably gonna be the only N54 that has all the gaskets done, other than yours, right? No, I don't even have all my. Oh really? Okay, so this is probably the only N54 that I've ever seen or owned that has all the gaskets done, which I'm pretty excited about. But um, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, look at us using that Milwaukee light that I spent so much money on. <laughs> when I tell my parents how much I spent on that light, they're like, "You spent that much on a light?" I'm like, "It's Milwaukee." That's that's the excuse. Oh, you just pull up on it. Oh, damn. Yep, and just keep pulling all the way up. So. Looking at it guys, um, can you guys see all that oil? Oh my god, it's actually so much oil dude, it's ridiculous. Get all that oil. The crack is over here somewhere when we did the smoke test. Oh, you see it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, you can see it. So the smoke was coming out of there and also there's oil, oil just literally just falling right in between all of that, which is really bad. Probably even some in the spark plugs themselves, which hopefully not too much because we cleaned that out the other time. And that's actually your, uh, your crankcase ventilation system. So it can run. Boring. Does that make sense? You don't just leak. no leaks means good. <laughs> so let's just fix the leaks for us, like you know the people that think like me. We just don't want leaks, all right? So um, yeah. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and set the time. I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone real quick. Uh, Erlon, do you have everything you need? You have the 14 millimeter wrench, and then you have the drills. Make sure that's the right one. 14. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got the light set up right there. <laughs> Look how excited he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like for me personally, I would not be excited for this whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Let me know when you're ready, dude. All right, go. All right, go. <laughs> he just finishes it. Okay, we're gonna set the camera up right here. I mean, the phone up right there. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna get to it. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up. All right, guys, he just finished 1547. Um, so you just didn't remove the valve cover, right? Because we're waiting on the other valve cover. But I mean, guys, 1547, I mean, not bad, man, not bad. He obviously worked at BMW, so he's, he's done this a few times, but. You know, I didn't do this once at BMW. Really? They never let me. It's just like a side thing you do then? And he was excited to do it. And you guys, 15 minutes would have taken me at least two and a half hours. 
<laughs> Look at all of this stuff, guys. How do you take all this off in 15 minutes? We're not gonna pull this off because we don't have the new valve cover. So yeah. Nothing's gonna fall in it, but you don't want to leave it exposed. Just in case you drop a bolt or anything. Inside yeah, yeah. The no, that would be bad. So we're just gonna literally sit here, probably get our two lawn chairs, <laughs> and just wait for the FedEx driver. But man, what the heck? All right, guys, so while we're also working on this car, trying to perfect it, we also do need to remove a couple more things. So we're moving the high flow cap tomorrow again for smog. And another thing that's probably gonna be dinked in smog is the oil cooler. That oil cooler is very noticeable. It's the only thing that really pops in the engine bay. Definitely probably gonna get dinked for that. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the oil cooler. Again, this is the type of stuff you have to live with in California, or you can hot smog it. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna remove the oil cooler. So yeah, guys, this is the billet aluminum, pretty much uh, oil cooler right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. We have the stock one, thankfully. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that that's just the most noticeable thing other than the intake of course you guys saw i've been taking a lot of things off the engine bay again uh for smog purposes but uh that charge pipe back there i think i'm gonna leave it in there it's not that noticeable the end the, the, pretty much obviously the intake gets there i'm still trying to find some kind of carb sticker is related to this and you know hopefully we can pass with that but um again that's very noticeable that's not too noticeable it's just a cap too i don't think it's too big of a deal but an oil cooler if they're gonna ding us for an oil catch can i think they're gonna dig us for an oil cooler so let's go ahead and remove this little bad boy All right, guys, so we just went ahead and closed the hood. So we have the aftermarket cooler right here. The beautiful, beautiful, it's fully cleaned up uh, billet aluminum oil cooler. So I have that right here. We went ahead and used the gasket from this on the original oil cooler, and we left it in the car. But we're missing a bolt, so we do have to head out to BMW and get that real quick. You're chilling, aren't you? It's cold. Anywho, in the meantime, we did get the box from FCP Euro. This is the valve cover, the full kit OEM from BMW. Well, technically from FCP Euro, but originally from BMW. So this is awesome, lifetime warranty. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there. But before we do that, we have to head out and get that screw. We gotta finish up that car and then we can get to the, the, the 135. This is what's nice about having a dailyable car that's not gonna break down on you. The 435 is getting worked on and the 135 is getting worked on. And we're taking I to get parts. Would you ever think like, like what? Why are we taking I to get parts? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only car I have right now that's not down. We're trying to fix the other two cars right now. Not only fix, but trying to fix one of them and trying to get the other one ready for, ready for smog. So, meantime, we'll take the IA. Why not? Just pulled up at BMW. So, let's go ahead and just get that one screw that we need and then just get back and get the job done. Guys, this thing is clean though. This is the G Series, right? 330i. Dang. All right, guys, so we got the screw, but then uh, <laughs> I ended up leaving with this bag. It looks so good. Super happy with it. You know, now when we actually go to the hotels, actually, that doesn't actually happen that often. But when we do, we have a nice bag for the laptop. So, you know, it works. Honestly, that was a very impulsive decision. <laughs> As I'm walking out, I'm like, ah. But wait, guys, I've been always having my eye on this bag. Like, guys, look how good that looks. Look at the detail. The button is a BMW logo. Oh, I didn't even know that. That looks so good. And it just says, it just doesn't scream out BMW, but it has like that nice texture to it. It looks so good and classy. So I'm actually very happy about it. And I think it fits my laptop bag. I hope it works. Hope it works. All right, guys, so I got the receipt for this screw. So we're gonna go ahead and do is use this screw from the aftermarket kit, put it on there. Uh, we use that temporarily to get the screw tomorrow at 12 and then I just replace the screw. It's not a big deal. It's just one screw, it shouldn't leak anything. And then, um, yeah, I also got this amazing bag. I'm super in love with it. I haven't treated myself with anything that's not car related in a very long time. So I'm really happy with this. Put my laptop bag, it's basically like a work bag. So I like it, something work related, kind of. Anywho, so shout out to FCP Euro for this beautiful, beautiful box. They actually really don't, like the valve cover could have been packed in a smaller box, but they really do take care of shipping. So I really do appreciate that. They didn't just throw it in a small box, it could have got damaged, it's in perfect shape. And if you guys want anything from FCP Euro, the link's gonna be down below. They offer lifetime warranty on literally everything. You guys can buy oil, do your oil change and return your oil. Literally like that. And do lifetime oil replacements for the rest of your life for free. Just have to pay the first time and shipping costs. Not a big deal. But anywho, so this is the valve cover OEM from BMW from FCP Euro. Let's go ahead and install it. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but uh, how, much, how much do you think roughly? I don't know, it's not time. Okay, let's not time. Let's let him take his time because we got to torque the bolts and everything properly and get this thing back on the road with no oil leaks. This thing's gonna have literally no leaks, bro. Zero. It's gonna be crazy. So I'm excited. All right, let's get to it. Bro, look at the packaging. Oh my god. Did you put an exhaust system in here. <laughs> if I was a person shipping this out, you would have got the valve cover in this box. <laughs> but they literally put a box in the box, paid extra for shipping to make sure your stuff isn't damaged. OEM BMW sticker right there. So not only are you getting a BMW part, but lifetime warranty, BMW is not gonna do that for you. FCP well. Guys, look at this valve cover. OEM BMW valve cover. Like what? With the gaskets already on there so it won't slip off when we're trying to put it on. Screws already there. 
Wow, that looks gorgeous. All right, all right, let's go ahead and install this little puppy. All right, guys, so Erlon just went ahead and pulled off the valve cover. We're gonna go ahead and just clean up all this stuff in a little bit. But um, you said you found the crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so where's the crack at? And that's actually very clean for the, the mileage it has. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, we're, this is obviously the old valve cover. Uh, I wish you could move the labels over, but I think they actually sell the labels on their website. Yeah. Oh, like, I should, probably should have added that to my cart, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Anyhow. Disgusting. Yeah, this is hella gross. But uh, where is the crack on this guy? So you have your giant crack. Oh my god, yeah, I can see it. What the heck? Hold up. Yeah, you yeah, guys see that right there? So you can see that. See that oh there. my god. <laughs> Dang, that thing's big. Yeah, it's falling from up here all the way up here. We almost cracked all the way through. Oh my god. Okay, well, yeah, that, that's how I, we were leaking a bunch of oil, guys. So, yeah, we're gonna end up replacing the entire thing. We do need that cap, though. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, bada bing, bada bang. Oh, we also need to move that over, right? Cool. Other than that, I think everything's good. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys saw earlier, but uh, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how there was oil between all of these spark plugs and just right in between it where the valve cover was cracked. And uh, the best way to get all that out is to pretty much just simply make some kind of suction tool. We pretty much just put a straw on a vacuum, uh, it sealed it up, it sucked it all out, all the oil, and then we actually use brake cleaner to get all the hard, uh, grimy oil out of there. And yeah, I mean, it looks really good. Now we have a new valve cover, new gasket, and we got all the oil out. Mm -hmm. So pretty much good to go. She is running good. This thing sounds good, dude. That's good. I don't even see any smoke. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my God. Zero oil leaks. <laughs> oh man. Hey guys. All right guys, we're just power washing everything at this point because we got everything cleaned up, but uh, it's looking really good. I mean, it's definitely ready for smog as well. So um, I did probably have to put those blue lines back as well, but um, hit it. Huge shout out to Erlon. The car is really coming together. It has zero oil leaks at this point. Literally every single gasket, including the oil pan, which is the biggest one, has been done. New valve cover, OEM from BMW, all gases from BMW. So yeah, the car is pretty much grade A condition. Pretty much all the preventative maintenance has been done. Transmission pan, fluids, oh my God, literally everything, even dip fluids. Yeah. Without further ado guys, we're gonna head over to Starbucks or someplace, probably get a drink and then head over back to his place, drop him off. He has a lot of things to do, but he spent most of the day with me, helping me with my car. So huge shout out to him. I probably could have got the work done myself, but he made my job a whole lot easier. Helped free up so much more time. So uh, thank him, thank the Lord. God bless. Yeah, let's just get cleaned up and then head out. All right, guys, so we just removed the cooler and we just got to the gas station. Our lawn is tired as baloney shimoni. You're about to go out and eat, get some habit, right? Huh? You don't have habit in Texas, right? No, we're so have he's it. craving it. We're definitely gonna have to get it then. My brother just going ahead and using my credit card and stuff, so I'm not making him pay for my fuel. <laughs> he's using my credit card and everything. He's trying to put the fuel in the car. And then we're gonna head over to habit. Um, but yeah, we got everything off this car that we need to get it smogged. We also got the things off we need to get smogged on the other car as well. And at the same time, the car now has no leaks. So that's absolutely perfect. That's absolutely amazing. Tomorrow, we're hopefully gonna be heading out to Showman, get a few more things on this car done. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, we didn't really show you guys what happened, but uh, basically hey. we demolished things. Hey, <laughs> a lot of you guys said in the last video that I was super cheap for not spending that extra 25 cents at Chipotle for the tortilla. Guys, if you guys didn't catch it, that was an absolute joke. I literally spent 25 cents, 50 cents on ranches on the side. I literally buy dips on the side. Why, why wouldn't I pay 25 cents for a tortilla? I'm not that cheap. <laughs> you guys started flipping out in the comments in the last video. That was super funny. But anyhow, I, I just, on that day, I made the excuse that I didn't want to get a tortilla because it was 25 cents. I'm trying to cut the tortilla because of the car and I've been just trying to stick to the Chipotle bowl because obviously if I'm trying to get kind of more lean and more fit, I can't keep eating tortillas. I love them, but I can't eat them. So I, I, I'm kind of putting the 25 cent excuse there to basically prevent myself from buying. Anywho, we're about to take our lawn back home. So pretty much, we're pretty much gonna call it at night. But again, tomorrow, a lot of things to come. So make sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.